Cisco Firepower Threat Defense, Snort version 3, Elephant Flow Detection. Now, an Elephant Flow is a single session, relatively long running network connection that consumes a large amount of bandwidth. This type of flow is assigned to one Snort instance and therefore impacts performance. Think of backups. So what we want to do is identify these flows and then move these flows into a pre-filtered policy focusing on layer 3 and layer 4 controls only. So let's check this out. Now we're going to go to device management within Firepower Management Center. And let's go in and upgrade to Snort version 3 if you are not already running Snort version 3. Again, understand what you're doing here in regards to in the changes to the environment. But we're going to move to Snort version 3. Now that we're in Snort version 3, we can start looking at building policies focused on elephant flows. All right, so let's go in our access control policy. Let's edit that policy. And from here, let's go ahead and add a new rule. We'll give it a name. So we'll call this log all connections. And we are going to set this to monitor. And we're going to move this to the top. Now what this, what the monitor rule will do is it's going to log everything but it's not going to take any action against it. It's going to move right down to the next policy. All right, let's go ahead and add this. Now we've got this rule, any, any, all the way across. It's monitor. That looks pretty good. From here, we'll save this out. And we'll go ahead and deploy this policy. So all we've done at this point in time is upgraded to Snort version 3. You saw how easy that was. And then we've moved into the access control policy that is going to be assigned a specific firepower device or multiple firepower devices. And we added a monitor rule to log all connections. So this will deploy. We're obviously not going to sit here and watch the full deployment here. So let's go ahead and jump into the next step here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually connect to our Firepower Threat Defense device in question. So we'll go ahead here and launch PuTTY. And we'll go ahead and uh, log into the, the asset. And we're going to run system, support, elephant flow detection. And you can see we can disable, enable, time threshold, and bytes threshold. So there's some settings here that we can enable. Now, we'll go ahead and show the current settings on this particular device. And we can see bytes threshold is 1024 and time threshold in seconds is 10. Now that's fine, but it's going to be hard for us to show um, the elephant flows being detected. So I'm going to change these to a lower number. This is a lab environment. It's only for testing. You This is not recommended in production, um, but you would set the, the thresholds based on the need or use the defaults. And you can see that change here. So now that we have this change in play, Let's just check it real quick. We can see uh, Elephant Flow Inspector is enabled. We've got the right settings for our lab environment. And this is going to allow us to test whether or not we're detecting elephant flows. Remember, the goal here is, is to identify these flows and move them into pre-filter policy to minimize any impact to the device itself. All right, from here, we're going to go to Events. And we're going to start logging connection events. So we've got a custom predefined search here for elephant flows. Let's go ahead and click that. Uh, we won't see anything at this point in time. And now we're going to connect to a device that's going to traverse the Firepower um, threat defense platform 
where we can trigger some traffic and see whether or not we're actually detecting elephant flows. And remember, we tweak those thresholds, so this should be pretty easy. So we're just going to do a wget here, and we're going to connect to a couple of uh, pages here in, in, in hopes to triggering uh, the elephant flow detection here. So let's go ahead and close this out. We'll do a quick refresh here, reload the page, and let's see what happens here. Ah, nice. Okay, so you can see here... Um, We've connected to a URL using port 80, um, our initiator IP, and we can see that um, certainly elephant flows was detected. So again, what we do here is move these flows, if, if required, into a pre-filtered policy and be done with it. Pretty neat.